Hi Scorpio, welcome to your reading. This is for January 2021. Please show me Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know here or see? Thank you. I keep moving the cover. I hope you guys are doing awesome today. I hope you had a nice holiday. There. All right. Your first card. Hmm. Six of Swords in the reverse. Not being able to move on to something. Um, travel delay. Some kind of emotional block. Or some kind of spiritual block. Oh, or it could be writer's block. But it feels like there's like a dam. Like um, water's not moving. This is like a nice flow. Moving on, traveling, clear thinking, healing when it's up in the upright. So somebody um, can't move on here. Let's try to get this in the right place. In the how. This could also be waiting for um, a money transfer that's not happening, that's not coming. So some kind of transfer is being blocked. Well, that's pretty. Page of coins in the reverse. So yeah, um, you could be waiting for a gift as well. Page of coins can be somebody giving you a gift. Lacking money, not getting a money transfer, not hearing anything from someone. In the why, the three of wands, <clears throat> excuse me, in the reverse. So I feel like um, some of you have kind of given up hope on something. And I feel like there's something that you were waiting for. Something, um, I feel like you were waiting for healing or waiting for something um, to be transferred to you or waiting for someone to contact you could have been with something for you, but it's not happening. It feels like you're really tired of waiting for something. Like it feels like you're, um, like over here it feels like you can't move on, but over here it feels like you're, you need a distraction. Because I was going to say it feels like you're moving off in another direction, but it feels like you really can't move on from something. Like you're kind of stuck here. So it's like you're looking for something to do in the meantime until you get over it, until you heal. It feels like there's, um, there's no communication from someone. How you're going to feel. The chariot. Maybe you're going to take a trip, a road trip. This chariot is literally in the clouds, so um, maybe you're, you're going to fly somewhere. But it looks like there's a big delay. It looks like you want to fly somewhere. You want to go somewhere, but you can't. Like this feels like everything has been blocked. Like it was like you were waiting for this. This is waiting for your ships to come in. Um, you were waiting for something, but it's in the reverse. You know, something might have just been canceled or something might have been... Um, restructured so if it, it kind of it feels like work it also feels like a work transfer that you wanted that you were waiting for is not coming 
It might have also been attached to like some kind of promotion or um, opportunity for more money. And it feels like it's like a, it's not happening. So it's like you have to you have to go in another direction. The direction you were looking um, is now like it's it's like um, a dead end. So you're going in another direction now. You're taking the lead in some way. Doing something by yourself. Could be going on a car trip or or in a plane. Like I said, there's clouds in that picture. Who's on that? Looks like there's somebody on it with him. Oh no, that's just him. Him and the horse. So you and your horse going somewhere. Wow. So many similar cards are coming up. Um, Aries just had this card, but over here. So this is burying something. This is giving up the fight. Taking one last look at something. And they're white flowers. It looks like he's placing them. Um, like This looks like the view that somebody would have from the grave when somebody's throwing flowers down on their casket. That's what that looks like to me. Um, so it looks like you're taking one last look at something and then you're gonna fly away or ride away or drive away or run away or walk away. Um, you're tired of waiting for something. But it does feel like you can't get over it and that's why you need to take some kind of bold action and distract yourself with something else. This feels like someone being stingy as well. This could be somebody else that can't move on, but they're not communicating and they're, they're, not, um, they're not providing you with anything it's, it's like they're just making you, it's like they want you to wait forever and, and you're literally like, let's blow this popsicle stand. I don't think that's you that can't get over this. I think it's someone else. And this was some kind of, I don't know, childish way to try and draw you in to them. Like maybe if I, you know, block all her exits, block her money or her paycheck or something like that. Um, block her opportunities, then she'll come back to me. But this guy is literally sitting in a sinking boat here. He's got all these, this is a sinking boat, sinking ship. So yeah, so this person thought they were going to draw you back to them out of, I don't know, need or something or necessity, but you're, you're going the other direction. You're like, I need something else to distract me, or I need to do something else. I need to switch roles, switch gears, um, take a different direction, bury this dead end, this sinking ship, burying the sinking ship, something that's never going to turn into anything. All right, bottom of the deck. Okay, so many similar cards. I swear I shuffled. Seven of Swords. So seven of wands in the reverse, seven of swords in the upright at the bottom of the deck. So that's deception. That is also ingenuity. So this is using your brains, using your intelligence. Um, also, he's got a big smile on his face, so it's choosing happiness. It's also being wise and knowing that something was a dead end knowing you need to bury something. But you learned a lot from something as well. I feel like all of these swords in his bag, these seven swords, they represent wisdom. Saying goodbye, throwing a flower down. So that to me, a white flower is like um, forgiveness. Six of Pentacles in the reverse. So two sixes, two sevens. 
very unequal relationship. Um, I'm feeling stonewalling. This person stonewalls you. They, they go silent. It feels like this person, it feels like you're so smart and this person is completely, um, well, a little bit, I don't know. They're not as sharp as you. So they don't have a comeback. They don't have an answer. Um, they're lying. They don't like to answer questions. That's their way of dealing with things, getting around things, delaying things, delaying the truth, delaying anything real. They, they live a lie. They live a deceptive life. So you're burying that. Um, but where was I going with this? Um, oh, right. So they don't have the conversational skills that you do. You're very forceful and very independent and very strong and um, brave. You're also very brave. So this person, the only way they can fight you, fight you, is to stonewall. That makes them feel powerful. And maybe it works with other people, like less intelligent people, but to you, it's like, I'm wasting my time. I need to go a different direction. I gotta stop waiting for this bum. And you do, you go the other direction. So this person, it's like, they're not at the same level as you. So let's see, like, I, it, I think they're just gonna bow out because you've outsmarted them. When you shouldn't have to outsmart something like a relationship, right? It shouldn't be a, a war, it should be a, you know, two people helping each other. So. And that doesn't look like what this is. This person, um, it feels like they need to keep you in the um, not knowing. That's their power. So you're like, uh, no, get in the ground. <clears throat> All right, in the how. Nine of Wands in the reverse. So you're not fighting anymore. Definitely not fighting anymore. You're not struggling anymore. This person wants you to defend yourself. They want you to fight for them. They want you, you know what? They want you to fight for nothing. And you're like, no, this is, this is um, not a good use of my time. You're definitely leaving on that horse or plane or car or something. In the Y, Eight of Pentacles in the reverse, not working on it. So not working on this, not waiting for this, looking for something else, something else that's interesting and invigorating. Um, this is something that brings you higher. It could be you focusing on your... Um, like on your job, on your, some of you might do something, um, like it feels like you're working on exposing yourself or um, being more noticed, being more, you know, it feels like this person takes up all of your energy for yourself. It's like the way that they feel like you love them is how much energy you put into them. And their, I don't know, dramas or issues or something. Um, and it, because you're so smart. This is someone who's very, very, very smart. I feel like this person was stopping your work on yourself. I don't know if that was on purpose or if that was just like a, um, like a consequence of all of their issues. But you're not anymore. You're not. You've, you've. Figured it out that it's endless, endless, dead end. You're burying it. Off you go. Let's see where you're going. Let's see what you're doing. Scorpio. Knight of Swords in the upright. So you're going somewhere fast. It really does feel like you're flying somewhere. You're flying high. You're getting promoted. You're using your brains. 
You've got a really good attitude, big smile on your face. You're ready for anything. It's effortless. You don't have to work at it. Like you're really witty. I feel like you're doing a really fast, sharp change of direction, like detour, like um, doing like a three point turn in the middle of the road and, and you're, now you're going the other direction. Like it feels like you were in this sinking ship with someone and now you're like, no, it's like you had a, a light bulb moment, you figured it out and once you, once you really figured it out, you've, you buried this. And off you're going. You might be writing. You might have something to say. But it feels like it's not really work. Because this is not working on something beside it. It, it feels like, oh, Chariot can be someone who travels and... and um, like it feels like it's like it doesn't feel like work because it, you're so smart and it's so made for you. So speak, lots of swords, speaking, writing, wisdom, passing on your wisdom. Um, in my other deck, this is called military. Could be a promotion, like I said, really fast. So it's like a really fast about turn. So I was picking up on someone who had like a, like someone that was getting moved or posted or, um, that it got canceled or it got delayed or it got changed, but you're getting something better now because this was six of coins in the reverse under whatever you thought you were going towards. Something um, not as good for you. You're getting something better. So you're either getting, um, you're, you're replacing a useless relationship with something really important to you Something that's going to bring you higher in um, status or um, abundance or actually in freedom. You're going to have the freedom to say what you want as well. Um, freedom to... It's like a, a really free communicative feeling there. Something wants, somebody wants your brains, somebody wants your ingenuity. And it looks like you, it's, it's so natural that you don't have to work at it. And it's something to do with wit, something to do with quick wit. Like you're really um, good in debates or something or unequal situations. Really smart. King of Cups in the upright, below the Seven of Wands in the reverse. So this person, this is either someone new. I don't think it's this person in the past because the Seven of, or sorry, the um, King of Cups wouldn't play all these games and have all this drama and want people fighting over them. Um, this also kind of sounds like somebody that maybe, um, like they didn't commit. I feel like there's someone in your future, or this is you, Scorpio, King of Cups, someone who is fully in control of their emotions. Um, after you bury this um, this past situation, when you finally give up on it, come to your senses. I feel like you already are. You're already there. This is being in control of your emotions. This is feeling very, very stable, burying all of your demons, burying all of anything that was causing you um, burdens and blocks, anything that was blocking your spiritual flow. That's what's giving you all this wit, all this ingenuity, all this, uh, it's like, I feel like real brain power there. All right, bottom of the deck, last card. Queen of Wands in the reverse. Under the Seven of Swords. So that feels like some kind of karmic 
situation. This feels like someone who you've outsmarted. This feels like um, someone in your life who is jealous of you. Someone who is jealous of your brains. Of how effortless it, it is for you to bounce back up. It's like one minute you're, you're, you're waiting for somebody and they're obviously not um, at the same level as you. They're playing all these games. And the next minute you're like, no, I'm not doing that. And then you, you put them aside. You, you, you block them as well. And then you pop up in your newsfeed in, you know, some exciting new job or exciting new travel, or you write a blog and you've got this big smile on your face. It looks like you don't even um, have to think about it. Like you just, it looks like it's so easy for you that it's not even work. Um, you switch gears. You, it's like you're good at everything you do, Scorpio. Like you're completely in control, but there's someone jealous of you. This person is like butthurt because they don't have your, your brain, your gift. This is, you have a real gift. I see this. Um, I feel like this is you, Scorpio. I feel like your advice might be just to block this person. I feel like it could be someone at work. Or maybe it's a sister or something, a sibling. But yeah, someone, but you're, it's been an unequal relationship. All right, let me, let me recap. Okay, so someone can't move on from something. I feel like it's this person down here. This person is jealous of you. They're envious. They hate how easy you make everything look. Um, so someone can't get over some kind of inequality. That could be in your childhood even. Um, someone, um, or someone doesn't like making less money than you as well. Someone can't get over something. Sorry, I was just listening. I just heard the strangest sound, and I don't know what it was. Um, right when I said that someone can't get over something. In the how. Ace of... Look at the page. Page of coins in the reverse. In the how. Someone's not speaking to you. Some, like I said, someone's trying to stonewall you. I don't know if this is romantic or if this is um, at work. But someone is jealous. Someone's not speaking to you. Someone is, um, whichever way it works, someone's using all the tactics they can think of to try and get you um, to miss them or to get mad at them or to say something back. But you're just switching gears and going off in the other direction. You're like, if you're not going to play like an adult, I am not playing. Not playing. Writing. Writing, traveling, um, working on your career. Doing something really fast. You switched gears really fast. Um, burying the past. Blocking any, um, this person could be trying to reach you. Or, or just, you know what it feels like? It kind of feels like this person is like a friend of theirs or there's somebody with a friend that it's like they're finding different ways to try to reach you and you're just blocking everything and staying very, very calm, unruffled. It's like they want you in this bickering game, but you, it's like you're so far from that. I feel like you've already figured out what their game is anyway. So yeah, some kind of delayed transfer 
or something that didn't work out in a relationship or at work made you switch gears or gears got squitched, squitched. <laughs> um, you're going off in a new direction, a better direction. Um, this can also mean this is something you do on your own. Maybe this is like on the side even because I really, <clears throat> excuse me, feel this as a, like a traveling, 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 but not what you thought it was going to be. Something's getting changed. Plans are getting changed and they're going to be better. You're going to be so happy that someone else is going to be jealous and you're going to block somebody, naysayers, jealous people, jealous ex. Um, yeah. But things look really good for you. Um, you might have to, oh, oh, okay. I thought it was done. Um, one other thing. You've been chosen for something because you make something look easy. You're very, very smart. You're very witty. Um, you're like five steps ahead from everybody. Um, but there's something new. There's something new. You're going up a level really fast. And you're going to have to think. <laughs> it's actually going to feel like a challenge. But I think you're going to love it. You're going to love it. Just have to bury the past and every all those other distractions. But it looks like you're already doing that anyway. So, wow. Sweet reading, Scorpio. Have a great month. Love you guys. Bye.